two, three. Tim Jackson here, Primitive Roofing. We're out here um, on claim number 1165. W is in win, 775. L is in loss. Um, today's date is May 6, 2024. And it's approximately 78 degrees. Um, you guys wrote up for a lot of repairs on this roof. Um, and, you know, we are dealing with a three tab that is about outlived its life. Um, we do know it's an old 20 year shingle. Only thing we have comparable is a 25 year three tab but we're gonna go ahead and at least attempt these repairs to show you guys the pliability of this roofing system that we have. Okay, so first things first, we've got a shingle here that's damaged that was paid for on the initial scope of work. So first things first, I'm going to remove this shingle. By doing that, I've gotta break the seal from this shingle and this shingle above to get the nails out. So first thing, I'll be using a roof snake too, so no hands will be on these shingles. So we're gonna do this with care. First thing I gotta do is break the seal, which they're already delaminating here, so it's not a lot to really break loose. All right, so first things first, get these fasteners out. that we got this one out I'm going to install the new shingle here we'll be using the roof snake here to install the fasteners so when doing this, I place the nail here, then without lifting the shingle up, we set it here and hammer the top. So once I get it set, but I also have to lift up, put it back over on top, hammer it in to get a flush driven nail. So I'm gonna do that all the way through here. One more. I have a shingle. Let's go as fast as we can. Okay. Now that we got the shingle securely fastened here, the points, the damage points that we can clearly see here, as we can tell, this shingle, the age in its condition, uh, Okay, so by replacing this one shingle here, you can clearly see, not even lifting this thing more than 15 degrees using the roof snake, we've clearly already got a crease here, a crease started here just by hammering in these. This one's clearly damaged right here across the top. This one, not quite so much, just a lot of granular loss, but this one right here, you can clearly see that crease coming along the top. And like I said, we're only lifting it this much and it's causing that crease. So there's another spot of damage there. Another one right here that's creased along the top. You can clearly see that one. This one, it's delaminated, hasn't creased, but will because of the fact it's delamination, but you can clearly see on this one. 
this one right here clearly across that top on the half of that shingle that's still damaged so we've got one two three four five we have six points of failure here by just replacing this one shingle in these six points of failure we have damage on both shingles above so by doing all these repairs that you guys prescribe on your scope we're going to be causing a cascading effect to where we're going to end up having to repair the whole roof which is why we're asking for a full roof replacement versus the 70 plus shingles that you guys are asking us to repair considering the age and condition of this roof i feel like this thing needs to be reconsidered for a roof replacement as you can clearly state that this right here is a failed repair attempt as to be expected on a shingle that's probably 25 years old so i hope you guys get this video and can reconsider this um hope this video reaches you well have a great day